We could be legend. I have nothing to lose. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Wake up. I know what's real. Escape reality. Hardwired. Go ahead. Be advised me both of you to respond to the Redwood Life racetrack for a person I'm stuck on stuck on a crane currently. Uh fire will be in route momentarily. And then once the individual's down you need to talk to the owners of that and see if they want them trespass what they want done. They give permission so on and so forth. Ten four. Hello, Womackians, and welcome back to another episode. We're going to be out here today, coming back to you with another episode of Midnight Galaxy Roleplay. This is a new group I'm a part of, and the link is down in the description for you to join the interview server if you would like. Once you join the interview server, just look for the application there and fill out the application for whatever department that you are seeking. Call 13 to be uh, on scene. Call 15 some traffic. I got a individual shooting flares from the crane. Be advised, that's going to be Connor. Temper. Call 13, which crane is it going to be the one closest to the back or closest to the front? Never mind, I see the flare. I'm more so questioning uh, what are we supposed to do because we can't communicate with him I don't know that it's necessarily safe for us to go up there. I don't have any yeah, kind of safety I'll equipment uh, nice. Yeah, is where I'm at over there. He's not that's not gonna work I really thought they might come with a ladder truck or something. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, they might be. It's, uh, they were just at a call with the EO tool, so they may have to be. Yeah. Howdy. Hello. How's it going? Uh, we got one stuck at the top. From what All we're understanding, way, it's Connor. Stop. 3036 Joshua Road, westbound. Fun, fun. On fun, a fun. small blue sports car. Looks like occupied by one. Never a full moment in San Andreas. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, especially up here in the county. Yeah, I always. Can one of y'all get in contact with the Redwood Lights owner? Uh, because this is a, this is plenty of times we've had to respond out here, and there's supposed to be no trespassing. Yeah, I'll do that now. Oh, you or, got that one, Mark? Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you're primary. You can go ahead because you're gonna have to write the report on it anyway. Son of a bitch. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Just go by the rules. Uh, you'll probably have to, I think there's a, up on the hill, um, back towards the back is a trailer, I think, if I remember right. Uh, uh that way? Yeah, yeah, back that way. Okay. Have y'all seen where, have y'all seen where he is? Uh, he, sh on the crane. he was shooting Somewhere. some flares off about three minutes before you got here. Yes, Mac, I understand he's up on the crane. I think he's, oh, I see him up there, he's up at the. <laughs> Great. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, uh, go ahead, just I guess I better start you making my way up there. Okay, right now, being cooperative. All right, I'll stay here. Perfect. On second thought, I'm not gonna hero this. I'm gonna wait for another SAR unit to get here. Yeah, that sounds like a wise idea, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, they're in the area, so it shouldn't take them long to get here. Yeah, I was rather surprised to see you pull up. I thought it might have been uh, like a ladder or at least an engine coming out. Well. Wait. All right. You know how the radio is. Oh yeah. That's why I turn mine up and down. Yeah, so this, uh, I responded to this because it's a fast rescue. We knew, we knew that uh, a ladder or an engine wouldn't even be able to make it in here. So, uh, they might have been able to. If they come up the road and they come in right over here, the way we're facing, they might yeah. be able to. But I mean, th this is sandy soil and it's kind of unstable. So, well, the the ladder was just at Util and it's barely tall enough to uh, touch the reach of that. Oh, okay. So we don't have the super massive ladders up here. No, no, no. Got it. I mean, it makes sense. It's not really. I think U Tool's the biggest building up this way, besides uh, these cranes. U, U Tool and the motel. I mean, we would, we wouldn't really use a ladder on a crane anyway, just because. Uh, yeah, usually I mean, the area that they're surrounded. Up. Yeah, I mean, I, I know it's got the built-in. You know, it's got its own ladder, so as long as uh, the ladder's in good shape, you know. Yeah. But we just responded the other day out here to a bunch of kids that snuck on the racetrack. So I'm, I'm wondering what's going on with this owner. I know. We got uh, Max over there uh, finding out for us. So we should know soon, hopefully. Right. Sprint one, car two. Can I get you over here since you have a better repertoire with Connor? Let's see who rolls up faster, another uh, pickup truck or an ambulance. <laughs> yeah, I well, guess we'll find out. He just left u -tool. I think the medics have been on their way for a minute, so probably the medic. Oh, oh yeah, medics. Yeah. Yeah. medics coming. Yep, I hear him. A verbal warning given. Copy.
Oh. Yeah, he's probably gonna want to come up the road over here on the side. Was that util car call y'all were on? Was it arson or? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I'd, honestly, the chief will probably be able to answer it better. I got called out for this one. I got you. I was just curious. I keep hearing arson talks over the radio and then I uh, heard something about gasoline. Uh, Paul 13, did y'all call for me? Be by Paul 13 or Paul 13, doesn't matter. Paul 13, go. Can I get a status update in your call, please? Team four, we've got uh, one fire oh, unit yeah. on scene. We got a uh, ambulance just got on scene for them to have multiples to go up and get countered down. Currently, we're checking with the management to the ferry track to uh, find out what they want to do. Copy that, Paul. Can you advise what the manager wants to please? A firm, Paul 15, uh, zero 03, and Paul 13. Management states that they. Uh, misspoke to the individual and accidentally sent him up there. They are wishing to press no charges at this time. Wow. Copy that. She's just been right near postal 103. Wow. So apparently management misspoke and sent him up there and they do not want any... In the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, I find it fishy, but... So management's I telling Mac, special. so... But they don't want any charges pressed or anything, so. I mean, we can turn it over to DA and see if they want to do something, but that'd be the only other option. At this point, I would, because that that story just doesn't add up. They'd send somebody at the very top of a crane in the middle of the night. Yeah, we need. We probably should uh, send investigators, you know, some, somebody to look into this. All right, Chief, All you want to come up with me, or you want Beck to go with me? Burning the place. Uh, come up, you want me to get here? Hey, yeah. Device response is being over and you can also wait for more units. Down 4, do you guys have a vehicle description? Here, send advice for description. Damn, bye. Alright. Okay, Paul 5, I'll be Alrighty, right let's right go. Alright, let's go. Y'all have fun, stay safe. Down 4. Gentlemen, how's y'all's night? Good, yours. I mean, you know, not too bad so far. So they're stating the management state and they accidentally sent him up there. Huh? Yeah, I don't get how they do that in the middle of the night. Yeah. So they accidentally sent him up there? Yeah, from what they stated is that they uh, apparently misspoke with him and accidentally set him up there somehow. I have no idea. That seems awfully fishy, especially in the middle of the night. I mean, there's nobody else here working or anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess they either sent him up there or they misspoke and said that he could go up there and he went up there on their own. <sighs> okay. I mean, I find it fishy. I don't know. Hey, you know, one of the fire recommended maybe turn it over the DNA or DA, you know. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we talk to his dad. Stand by for name. Yeah. Sounds like they got something exciting going on, though. Yeah, they're looking for a polo vehicle. Ah, okay. Any idea what the vehicle is just so we can keep an eye out around here? It's a Honda Civic Type R, like a. 2018 model and the plate is burnings burnings what color was it it's gonna be a cherry stormy uh, advised inverse system i do not see the plate or the car red system for okay field board station, but it is so you see an arrest report copy that okay so i'm gonna pursue charger i'm gonna be getting gas at the wrong gas station i'll be in right there i'll pay the board open see if i catch that last ball location Alrighty. Got it. 
Yeah, hello. So they're stating, or uh, management is stating that they apparently mo misspoke with uh, with Mr. Wright up there, Last and uh, states that they're not one to press any trespassing call, uh, charges or anything like that. And he somehow was able to, or uh, given permission, I guess, to go up there. Uh, through their misspokenness, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, so my captain just told me that, uh, the BT is, like, at the very tippy top of the crane, like, all the way up there, and yeah. that you should probably recheck, uh, the validation on the fact that he's supposed to be up there. Yeah, it there's, might be. There's not much you can really do if they don't want to press charges, but I mean, we could turn it over to investigators and or DA, but the, I mean, the, that's if the state's gonna pick up anything. This is private property; they probably won't. Right. I mean, I would double check just because uh, since he is all the way to the top, it's not like he's just at the top of the ladder. He's all the way up there. Yeah. yeah. You know, without safety gear, without anything else, all he got to do is, you know. Stub his toe and fall. Yeah. Um, I'll see what I can do and go back over to the trailer crop. Alrighty. I mean, sorry for the extra work, but I mean, that's probably what I would do if I were in that situation just because where he's at. Oh, yeah, I'm taking uh, notes and whatnot on yeah. what's going on. We need to turn the report over to his, his pops, too. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, definitely, uh, I don't have any contact with, with that. I can head, uh, give you the or email you the report number or something. Yeah, yeah, just email your report number and the details, and I'll I'll shoot it over to Pops and okay, see what he I'll, has to uh, say. Yeah, I'll do that when I get the earliest convenience and get it all written up and sorted out by the end. Uh, all right, sounds good. Yeah, I should have it to you by the uh, either the end of the uh, day today or uh, sometime. All right, that, that's tomorrow. cool. All right, no problem. Yeah. I'm gonna head over to the trailer and see what they say on that front. All right, sounds yes. good. You guys, it's gonna be close to one thousand. Two, three, ten, eleven. Hey, folks, on one flight in East Lynch, North Freeway, near my marker on J on one pink car. Honda Civic Type R. License plate Bravo Uniform Romeo Nora Ida Nora George Sam. Paul Five be with you. Dear Timothy. Revised since uh, there are the possible arson we're going to do a close flight. Copy. Could we possibly get a fourth unit? Paul Five, hold there. Let's uh, wait for Nora, you know. And they're about to code five somebody right now. All thirteen of those units. I could break off from here and head that way if need be. There's multiple fire and such here. Yeah, I just heard that something Ten like eight. that come through my radio and I don't know why. Second I call it. Not oh. scanning or anything or anything. They're in a ten eighty right now. Can call it. Heading 1000, postal 1000, south, south of Sonora Freeway, going through a tunnel. Postal 2000, still heading southbound Sonora Freeway. Jaws ambulance locked. Still heading Sonora uh, Freeway, 2038. Probably gonna lose them. I'm not as fast. Are you faster than me, Ten? I was asking if the ambulance is locked. Five point two zero four to come up to you to a speed of one hundred forty miles per hour. No, it's not currently on. Was it locked? Yeah, I, I've lost sight. Five. Let me go check that. Three. I just see the van over there. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm asking. Three zero five one seven ten in sight point. Taking the exit ramp nine. Advisor going back on the freeway now is 3048 southbound Sonora, no 13, high rates of speed. Advisor 
Clipping around now, going northbound 3057. Just going northbound 3057 on the freeway. Be advised, they've ta they're continuing currently, I believe. Yeah, they're continuing on the northbound on the 13304 coming up to Utah. I've still got eyes on. Stopping hey, to northbound 3051 hey, uh, He's over there checking with management about him being all the way tippy top. Uh, let me talk to you over here for a minute. All right. All right. So obviously, I don't know if you've dealt with Connor before, but I have. I know Connor is almost an adult or as an is an adult. They they apparently sit him up there in the middle of the in the rain and at nighttime. Now, does that make sense to you? Absolutely zero, dude. I don't think these things are even supposed to operate in the rain. No, they're not because they're a lightning hazard. Right. So, I'm not sure where to go on that side because I'm not law enforcement. But there is definitely some BS going around. Yeah, and that's why we're checking with the uh, with the management again. Uh, I mean, not only was I going to have him do it, but I know y'all called down the one of your guys there, and he he uh, let us know that as well. Yeah, because yeah, so, something's not right, and it's really irking me. Yeah, no, I I agree with you. I mean, honestly though, if they come back with you know not want to do anything, our hands are kind of tied. This is private property, you know. Oh, I don't know. So. It, I mean, as far as the law goes, I don't think there's really anything else we can do besides usher him off the property and tell him not to come back. Yeah, but that's only at the wish of the property owner. Oh, well, right. You know, and so far they they have refused. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So. So right now we're just waiting for the for Matt to come back and go from there. Yeah, I understand. All right, I'm gonna get out of this gear. All right. Yeah. I believe he's all right. That he's already running around and everything like that. Yep. So do you want me to try and get a signature from him on the AMA or? medical just needed any, anyway i wouldn't even bother with a refusal because i believe he's a minor anyway mm -hmm. okay hey, what's his last name i'll run into my computer uh quick. connor wright if i believe yeah i believe that's right <laughs> and he's on top of the medic yeah, of course he, he is he, he's not going to damage anything, but he likes jumping on things. Nice to you. Hence, or he likes climbing things and gets stuck sometimes. Hey, just a heads up, uh, Fire, you may be getting uh, an LEO into your channel real quick for an MBA. Well, okay. So, you're gonna be as dumbfounded as I am by this. Absolutely nothing. Flippin' just, they want nothing done or anything like that. They're dumbfounded or something. So, they send him up there in the middle of the night when it's raining and lightning. I mean, that's a, yeah. that's a hazard on its own. It's a lightning rod. They're not even supposed to be operated and I verified with. Uh, fire here during the rain because of the lightning aspect. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't ask them. Are you, you sure want me to? you don't want anything done? Uh, so you gonna talk to them or... Yeah, I was gonna talk to them for a second. Yeah. Now. I, 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 I can break off and then once you're once you're done, you can. Okay. I definitely am gonna say investigation is most likely. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need to do something about it, uh, you know, and too bad sergeants wrapped up on that other scene right now Because I'd have them respond out here and and talk to us about it because I mean this just seems a little, you know Yeah, I mean it's a little suspicious that they're not wanting to do 
anything. I mean, is this place marked no trespassing anywhere? If it's, I do believe so. If it's marked, we could take him on trespassing just because he's trespassing. But that's at the uh, that's at the owner's request. Uh, yeah, that is it at an owner request, and they stated that they don't want anything charged. He's going back up on the crane. Connor, you I probably can't hear me. Okay, I've got to go to another call. Womack, I'll be in contact with you later. All right, sounds good. I don't know if that was a speculation. Was he already up there? Or? Mm. No, he's right here. Come on, Connor. Why don't we stay away from the cranes? I'll get the because I, I, I like climbing and climbing this one. That's why. Uh, okay, I understand that. But at some point here, you know, legal action's going to be taken against you, and you don't want that. Yeah, and plus you were at the very tippy top of that thing. That nope, was nope, because, nope, because the tip top was the thing above where I was. Okay, I mean, I had two firefighters tell me that you were all the way at the top. I mean... No, I was I was a little bit lower than the top. Okay, but still, you were all the way up there. You know, you, you see what we're saying here? That was dangerous. I mean, you should have... You personally should have known better a question. Why are they going to send me up there during the rain? No, 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 no. It was before. Okay, but still. I mean, we've had... We, we had a threat of rain for the last what 12 hours or so yes and not to mention it's winter time i mean you know so it could start snowing at any minute then then you're up there during the freezing weather and that adds a whole nother aspect of danger yeah do and whatnot uh, make it slippery up there i mean you know climbing around on these concrete things that's one thing climbing around on that that's a complete other you understand Connor? Connor? Connor. Come on, Connor. What? Do you understand what we're saying? About what? About not climbing. No. At, at least the cranes. Mm -hmm. Alright. Can you do me a favor and not climb the crane? I could try, but I might forget. Alright. This report is going to be forwarded to your dad, just so you know. What about my mom? It'll probably be forwarded to your mom, too. It's also going to be forwarded to the district attorney. And uh, there may be some investigations that also may take a look at it due to the fact that the management didn't want anything done. So. The, the aspect here yeah, doesn't... No the aspect here doesn't come with the fact of you were on a crane. The aspect comes that you were on a crane at night and while it was raining. Good talk. All right. I'm going to go clear. I mean, nothing else we can do right now. I mean, technically you shouldn't be on the property because it is a trespass zone, so I guess. I mean, but if they told him to go up there and they want nothing done with him, then then he's not trespassing. He's welcome here. I, I don't bloody fucking know anymore. I, I don't know anymore either. I mean, that's the only thing I can go off of. You know? I have face palmed a total of about three times during this call. Yep. I mean, I say we just write the report and move on about our day. Ow. All right. I'm going to go tonight. Y'all have, have fun. <laughs>